Mindset, you got it. Another video about mindset. But I want to give you a bit of a different perspective on it, right? We have books to read. Many have written books. We've consumed a lot of information in our lives to create and have a positive mindset. The challenge is how do we remain positive more often than not? This is not an always thing. And I had this thought this morning, and I wanted to share it with everybody, is that I think the big problem with maintaining a positive mindset really boils down to who we are as human beings, okay? Down on a genetic, even a DNA level on how we're put together, right? There's a thing called pain and pleasure. You see, we as human beings, we will avoid pain more so than we will seek out pleasure, okay? So when we are thinking about positive mindset, one of the first things that comes to mind is the fear that we have, the things that hold us back that may create a negative mindset for us, right? We immediately start thinking of those things when we're starting to think about having a positive mindset and how we're going to do that, okay? So innately, we automatically look for the things that we are afraid of, that, that, are, that we're fearful of. Three things to do. One, ask yourself, is this real? Okay, most of the time it's no. Okay. If it is yes, then ask yourself, what can I do about these fears? And a lot of times there's really not much that you can do. Okay. Sometimes there are, but when we write these things down, we understand what they are and that our mind is just going to naturally go to where the negative things may be that keep us away from that positive mindset. We at least know about them. We can face them. We can work with them. And when we work with them, it makes everything on the positive side, the positive mindset, so much easier, okay? So just remember, we seek out to be away from pain versus more than going to pleasure, right? We avoid pain more than we seek out pleasure. So take that with you today through the week. Face your fears, write them down. If it's no, they're not even real, then stop it. Get rid of them. If they are true fears, ask yourself, what is it that I'm actually afraid of? And number three, what are you going to do about it to overcome those fears? Because that's where we grow. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a great week.